Goodwill number one. So there's a pig around here that's looking at stuff because the uh, see no the see no evil pig is not here. Holland Boone, Polish, Polished, Polished, Polished Pewter. Oh look, this one has a sticker on it. It must be lucky. <gasps> Ooh, I was trying to figure out. It's Sigmund Freud. He's no, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Let's peek in this new card of goodness coming out. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. We made it! All right, first morning. We have the uh, List Perfectly background here and they're doing this amazing, amazing little tunnel over here. They're clapping everyone in. It's the really most awesome experience when you first come to an event. So, um, oh, I have a camera on. People don't want to pass me, so I'm gonna turn it off right now. But I'm gonna film them from behind. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is really cool. This perfectly knows how to throw a party. So they're giving out amazing swag bags of stuff. Oh, look. Oh, look. Packing tape. What's this? I'm not sure. Is it a calculator or a light? I thought it might be a light or a phone stand. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's a phone stand. Oh, a cozy. Oh, oh, oh. We got it. Rice Krispie Treats. We've, oh, a loop. That's from Worth Point. The uh, Rice Krispie Treat from Eblis. So that's their sponsors. Ain't no party like a listing party. So listing party is list perfectly. It's, it's like their social platform. Uh, you should go check it out. It's really fun. Everybody does different topics and there's uh, there's videos, there's discussions, there's, go check it out. Go check out Listing Party. It's really fun. If you're a, if you're a reseller, it's definitely something you want to look into. We've got, uh, Boss Reseller Remix stickers and buttons. That's coming up in October. Uh, stay tuned to the Niche Lady because I will have some special surprises coming up around purchasing tickets for this. Uh, you will not want to miss that. And, uh, oh, and hat. Oh, look at the size of that button. That is substantial right there. That's a, that's a button. <laughs> so Brenda wears buttons and this one would be a little overpowering. You, you know, even. Remix last year. Oh, that's from last year. Yeah, yeah. So, but this one, yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it would weigh it down a little bit. All right, and bandanas. Oh, of course, I got a blue one, you know, because I have to. party but it is a thrifting day so getting ready to go out on a little caravan and uh, spend the day thrifting so let's get down here and get this party started all right getting the caravan ready to go all right we've got our little treasure map of the day here we go goodwill number one he's grabbing their lucky carts right Ooh, the lucky one. The lucky ones are way down here. 
I feel it. There they are. Right there. That's the lucky ones. Right, there are a lot of us here. This could be a very, very interesting trip. Now, I am not buying anything for myself, but I will put things in the cart and then see who wants them. And if nobody wants them, then I'll end up with them. But it's kind of how I'm going to roll today. Oh, he's really cute, but he's broken. Oh, he has no weight to him at all. Oh, we got a little, little blue bowl on a silver plate stand. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I like, I like that for me. Set goals and crush them. Oh, that's for me. See, are you one of those cordon blue guys? It's made in Japan. It's not bad. It's not bad. We've got a sisal donkey. See, look at that. It was $7.99. How much does Goodwill have it for? $3.49. I'd have picked him up for a dollar or two. Ooh. Look at you. Now we do have that 20% off coupon. So I can see he's vintage. There's unfortunately some damage on his tail. Ah, his condition's just a little bit too rough. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I've actually bought one of these before and I know they have some good value. Uh-oh, can I, can I get it? Can I feed it through here? Yes, how much are you? 250. Yeah, I do believe he sells for 15 to 20, but do I see damage? Is that, no, it's wax, it's wax. He's okay, he just needs a little cleaning. Let's see, oh, there's a big old elephant thing. The Magical Jungle. I do love these coloring books. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, bulls. The bulls. Oh, if you want them, they're yours. Did they price them separate? They did. They priced them separate because that's what Goodwill does. Be 11 bucks for the set. They probably sell 25 to $30. Oh, they are contemporary. Little uh, Kmart music box here with a birdie. Kmart is no more. Look at these pretty ladies, little geishas. Always look at the faces. These are not as finely painted as some figurines that I have found. <gasps> Who makes you? Are you, you're not marked. I was hoping she was like some series. Look how pretty she is with her little kitty cat in hand. Are these masterpiece? No, these are chipmunks. Chipmunks in something by RW GN Limited Signature. Super cute, but broken. Can't do broken. Not Wedgwood. Cow creamers. Super popular. Even though this is like a new Target home brand, but that also tells you how popular that collectible is. Looks like somebody gave up their uh, cow collection. Maybe. Oh, so there's a pig around here that's looking at stuff because the uh, see no, the see no evil pig is not here. Oh, you know, I love my farmhouse decor. How much are you? You were $13 at Oh, it's even blue, but it's, it's pretty dirty. We will leave that. Oh, I see a moon over there. But you can't have two moons. This is Dayer, which is a good brand, made in England. It's not very exciting on this side, though. If that was a little bit more ornate, that would be good. Are you stone? You are a stone elephant. Little chipped on the ears, little chipped on the trunk. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's fun. Uh, not seeing anything else too exciting. Nope, not here. Let's look in the glassware. Ooh, those are heavy. Little cute little dessert dishes.
little hand painted flower. Just says hand wash. It's not like a high end anything. We got roosters. Coffee mugs. Let's see what's in the coffee mugs. Who's it? Jane Foster? Jane Foster coffee mug. For $1.50. I like this. This is a this is a cool coffee mug. I'm gonna put that one in the cart. Pretty little Mexico coffee mug, $3.50. We will leave that one. These are cute. These are probably $12 to $15 resale. Look at these. Now I do love me some soapstone coasters from Kenya for $4.50. We'll put those in the cart. Ooh, look at him. The rhino with a little bird on top. Probably a contemporary. It's an opal house. Eight fifty. I love him. He will go in the cart. I am, I'm almost thinking nobody's going to be a taker on him because he doesn't really fit in a suitcase. Maybe one of the locals will. I'll, I'll give somebody dibs, but he might be coming home with me. That's interesting. All of these little. This is usually like the dip bowl. Apparently, they can be bowl bowls too. Oh, seahorse. Can you see him? Can you see the seahorse? There we go. That makes it more visible. Very, very broken. Unfortunately, this looks like a Bavarian plate. Let's see, hand paint. Oh, it's Nippon. It's actually Nippon. It's not a very exciting Nippon though. If the colors were more vibrant, if it was, that one's Germany. If it was a little more like this one, see this one? It's got kind of the nice edges and, and that, but this one's Germany. Plates are a tough sell. There are still people who collect them, but I'm not gonna pick those up this time. While I could sell them fairly easily, uh, it's not something that I want to have somebody else take and then sit on it and, and I go, but Danny said that that would sell someday. I see Talavera, I do believe, under here. And we are in Arizona, so Mexican pottery is probably going to be a lot more prevalent than it is in other places. This one's not signed, and generally you want signed uh, because the Talavera, uh, the families who uh, paint and do the Talavera pottery are very proud of their work, and they will sign their work, unlike some other companies where they don't sign their work. So a signed piece of Talavera, much, much more desirable than an unsigned piece. Interesting little candle holder there. Let's see, ooh, it's a nice decanter. And this is a clear uh, distinction between a little bit older and a little bit newer because this one has the actual cork stopper. That one's got plastic. Uh, if I was going for these, I would definitely get the one with the cork, but I don't do a lot with decanters. Maybe somebody else here does. 1957 on the bottom? Yeah. I don't know they could be 19, yeah, 1957. Elsif K. Brunn, did you look up that? I, I did. And that nothing name, came nothing came up. Me. Club 1957. So then I would look at something like this, and just based on what it is, I know that I could get 15 to 20. I'd pay 449 half price all day long. There you go. At least, at least, without doing any research. Could be more. That's pretty. Who makes you? Holland Boone. Polish, polished, polished, polished pewter. Now it does have a website, but you know, websites have been around for a very long time. This is what I'm going to look up. All right, looked him up. Holland Pewter is not very high end at all, so we'll put that back. That's pretty. I like the little decorations. This one is Wilcox. Uh, International Silver is the mark on there. That one's it's really nice. But no. Oh, look at this. Has the little um, thing to put the water. Is it to put water in somewhere? And yeah, for a warmer or a chiller. All right, the wood section. 
do love me a good wood section. Girl Scout Beginnings tin. I think I've looked these up in the past. They're not like super value, but I do like this. Look at this gallery place craft gallery interior design art gallery. Ga this is so cute. Who makes you? It is uh, brandy wine wood crafts from Yorktown, Virginia. Four forty nine. That is super adorable. I don't normally go for things like this, but it's nineteen ninety five. I like that. That's going in the cart. Let's see what else is over here? Like this little schoolhouse save give two forty nine. Now I wonder what save give. Not sure. That's like a little uh, litho that's kind of on the order of how they used to do the old Fisher Price toys. Super cute. I just, I just don't know on that one. Gonna leave that. Kind of drawn to it. Hmm. It's a nice old looking box. I don't think it is old. I just think it's made to look old. It's pretty cool though. Very rustic. That would fit in a kind of a country decor setting really, really well. I like it. Look at the size of that rolling pin. Wowza. $7.50. Hmm. Stick it out there if somebody sees it. Let's see what we've got over. These are those cookie cutters that somebody was looking at. Easy to ship, easy to deal with, just not super high value. Oh, I think I already looked. I already looked over here. Who done it? Who done this one? Oh, all these lids, people have untaped to them, so you got to be careful, not just flip it. It's that Perini. Find a lot of it. It's trying to look like Le Creuset, but it's not. It's Perini. Oh. You know what we learned? You know what we learned this week? We learned not to put all our eggs in one basket. I love it. I kind of love it. I think I'm going to get this. I love little visual teaching tools, you know? All right, let's see what we've got over here in the art. Those are interesting. I like the matting on these. Those those are intriguing. Got some writing on the back where they were. They come out of Memphis, Tennessee. That's where they were framed. Somebody already tried to look at the back here. They are vintage. The frames are vintage. The frames are worth $6.50. I think those should go home with somebody. Let's see if there's anything else here. Zebras. I love me some zebras. Life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Love it. Ooh, what are we finding in the electronics? Typewriter. Oh my gosh, that brings back memories. Typewriters can be really good. There's some like really old school like authors and things that still want to do their books on a typewriter. Yeah. Well, I like the lamps. <laughs> I know lamps. I don't know like electronics. I don't see any lamps. I mean, I see lamps. I don't see any lamps worth buying. Mm, yeah. What is that? Cartridges for pools, tools, some sensies, a bit boring ones. Yep, nothing else. And there's cornhole. If I didn't have one, that'd be coming home with me. This has a very mid-century color and a very mid-century shape, but unfortunately it does have a crack. Otherwise, I would I would pick this soap dish up. It's not marked, but really, really like it. Still have things in my cart, even though I'm telling everybody it's all up for dibs. Ooh, you know how I love me some sunflowers. Not a super high-end piece or anything, but a very, very fun summery piece for $3.50. I will grab that. Already lost the soapstone. Uh, coasters. They got claimed. They got claimed. Let's see if anything else gets claimed. Campbell's. Oh, it's a bag holder. That's what that is. I like, they have a lot of textiles in this store. A lot of fun textiles. 
Brenda's over there finding purses. Oh, look at him. What is he? Is he a bunny? Oh, okay. And he's got both of his. I see it now. I see it. He's adorable. I hate that. Yeah, it does feel like leather. All right, let's take a peek at the purses. Hmm, that looks vintage on this one here. Let's see. If you say anything inside. Usually on these, I'll look for made in Hong Kong versus made in China. All right, I need both hands. It says Bijou Turner. It is made in China. I'm going to leave it. It's not super old. American Leather Company backpack. It's kind of nice. I don't know that name. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit dirty on the inside. I'm not really into doing any cleaning. Cancun. These are uh, interesting. Oh my goodness, it's those fidgety poppy things oh my in the sh it's got eyes well alrighty then somebody's got some clothes oh my oh my I'm on the baggy wall and look what I found I scored me some shells Ooh, doggies yep sand dollars a big old scallop half and then all these other I see some in here that my Hermes can use too so 450 I'm grabbing these Oh my gosh, fake muffins, fake muffins. You know how I love my fake food. Oh my gosh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of them here for 550, must have. So here's what's going home with me is this piece, the art, uh, of course the pieces that I got that I'm absolutely in love with here, my shells, uh, everything else got claimed. Okay, store one, super fun. Store two is a Salvation Army family store. Heading in to see what we can find. There we go. Let's grab us a lucky cart. Oh, look, this one has a sticker on it. It must be lucky. Let's see what we've got over here in this little walk and write in section. With a lacquerware. That's cute. Oh look, another decanter with the cork. That's attractive. Put some nice little things here up front. That's an older piece, $3.99. That's uh, actually a really good price on that. All right, let's go find some more hard goods. Oh, glassware. Look how pretty that is. But there's only one. If there was a pair of those, I'd be picking them up. Do you see a Snoopy mug? Big Fork, Montana, 2014. Very, very specific uh, customer base on that one. Oh, those are pretty. They're the Mikasa ones. Kind of glassy baby, kind of look-alikes, but not, if that makes sense. They're, this is the shape of a glassy baby. It's kind of the style of a glassy baby. But what's interesting, look at the tops of these. One is thinner than the other. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. You're a Richie China, occupied Japan. Nice. That cup does not go with that plate, by the way. Hey, that's, oh, it's one of these little children's dishes. Now, the last one of these I passed by, I kind of got scolded and told, oh, I would have bought that from you. So here's the deal. Ooh, we don't know how much it is because it's kind of not visible. Ooh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery how much this one is. I'm still going to put it in the cart now. Somebody does have the option to take it from my cart. We'll see if I actually end up with it. Look at this. This, this week's menu. Sunday. Eat it, mothers. Why is that crossed out? Did mom cross that out? <laughs> Monday Chinese takeout, Tuesday Mexican takeout, Wednesday pizza, Thursday bucket of chicken, Friday leftovers, Saturday take me out. That's really cute. That's a Boston warehouse piece. I probably would pick that up if I were at home. Not a big, big seller, but it's again got that kind of emotional, funny appeal. This looks like an older piece. Moravian Blessings. 
Come Lord Jesus, our guest to be. Oh look, it's all handwritten on it. It's from Winston Salem. Lucy Bloom. I don't know why, but I am super, super enamored with this for a dollar ninety nine. Oh my gosh, is that a Robert Graham? No. no. A mile away. I thought it was. It's a knockoff. <gasps> More soapstone. Ooh, now I'm gonna have to find who bought the coasters. So here's another piece. $1.99. Not a super high sale. This one does have some scratches though, unfortunately. So for that reason, I'm, I'm going to have them pass on it. Uh, but that would be a nice piece if it didn't have those scratches. Fun little um, tiki picks. These are not old. They're just fun. Just fun. Got a little cork uh, wine bottle stopper. He's resin though. I was trying to figure out, it's Sigmund Freud. He's no I'm not, yes I am. No I'm not, yes I am. These are fun. These have an older look to them too. I like these. Now I doubt anybody else is gonna wanna pick these up because they're $4 each. I, oh, never mind, never mind, I found a chip. I was gonna say, I, on the other hand, uh, could do quite well with these. And a lot of that has to do, you know, with the fact that I have a, a big, big following. Um, not, not super happy with the $4 each. If it wasn't chipped, I'd pick them up, but I'm not gonna recommend those to anybody else for that reason. I was very conscious about not steering anybody wrong. This is an Isabel Bloom for $2.99. Uh, let's see. Looking at all the end caps over here first. I was looking at the colors of this behind there, but no, that's just a cheapy piece. It's a dachshund tape dispenser with some hot dog tape. That's fantastic. I must have. Oh my gosh, look at the foxes. What does the fox say? He says, leave me on the shelf. I'm not that great. Ooh, look at this. Look at the giraffes drinking, eating, whatever they're doing. Made in Kenya. So you can actually let's see the made in Kenya underneath. Unfortunately, it is a bit broken. Otherwise, that'd be super fun. Gotta always watch for the brokenness. That's an older tray. I can tell this has some age underneath there. It's $5.99. Oh, look at that lining. Oh, this has told some stories. Look at that. I think I'm going to pick that up. little box with a calla lily. Oh, it's broken. Everything comes out in the wash. All right. What you finding, Brenda? Pillar holder by Coles. These are interesting. I'm gonna peek in your cart. You, you're on to the metals today. Oh, those are fun. Well, either piece by itself I wouldn't pay, but for yeah. together that I probably won't keep together. Three ninety nine. I'll pay. No, well, yeah. $10 because it's orange. Oh, is orange their fifty percent off color? Uh -huh. Oh. Oh no, those are great. Hmm. Let's look over here. Got some little no oh they are salt and peppers and their price tag just fell off. Where'd you go, price tag? There it is. They are a dollar ninety-nine. Oh well, who can pass up cute little gnomes for a dollar ninety-nine? Kinda like the oranges, not gonna lie. Got mushrooms. These I think actually are sold at like the dollar or I guess the dollar twenty-five store. Oh, this is old. 
the decoy brush and shoehorn set. It's actually in there. It's plastic, but it's Hong Kong. This is an old set. That's pretty fun. I don't know what it sells for. I'm going to guess 12 to 15. So let's see how much it is. That's four bucks. You could absolutely still make your money on that. I'll put that in the cart. Well, they made their own little like a fairy garden display here. That's something Rachel and I are definitely, definitely putting together as our little fairy garden. So I'm going to pick up some of these pieces to go with ours because they are kind of pricey to go buy them. All right, we're going to pick these all up. These were from the, yeah, they were from the dollar store and they're $1.25 now, but <laughs> Salvation Army wants $3.99. This is Ray Dunn, a little salt, a little salt guy. I don't know what those are going for. I tend to stay away from the Ray Dunn now. Just have a nice look. They're not marked. Ooh, fake pomegranates. Ooh, they have some weight to them. Wowza. I wonder if they're selling this whole bowl of fruit. These are nice ones. These are, uh, these are the nice vintage. This one's actually got the fuzzy on it. That one's not. That one's really lightweight. Weight has a lot to do with telling the quality. Let's see. Underneath here. Oh, thank you. I can't see what that says. $3.99. I think that's for the whole bowl of fruit. I'm going to pass on it this time, but if I was home, I'd probably pick that up. And I'll tell you, this is what started it all for my mother was yarn and figuring out. Now, I don't know yarn that well, but looking, you know, like this is made in USA. Some of these you can't get anymore except in the online market. But you look at the like the lot numbers and stuff. That's how you would research it to see what it's going for. I know Red Heart is one of the better brands that she always sold. But there you go. Yarn. It's a thing. Look at that fake plant. I feel like Noah might like that one. $5.99 though. Ooh. Don't want to pay $5.99. It's not, it's not good enough for $5.99. You are lightweight. You look like a little outdoor, outdoor dude. Who makes you Montana marble from 1990, Bernie Brown, 3.99. I feel like that's a good pickup. Labradors are very, very popular still. Here's some Raku. Oh, it even has the little Raku slip on the inside. $1.99. I'm going to offer this one to Julie since she's on a pottery kick over here. That's Raku. There you go. This is another interesting piece. Kind of burnished up here at the top. It's painted. It's an odd painting. It's a little amateurish painting. I don't know how I feel about that one. They just kind of glommed all their pottery over here. Don't like that one. That could actually be something. Hmm. There is a tribe out here in Arizona. I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since I've been here that uh, used these colors and they always look like, you know, a little off. And I, but I don't know if this is just a copy of that. But you know what, for $2, I think I'll take a chance and find out. And then this one, why does, what is this? What is this? That doesn't go with that. This is horsehair pottery. So they actually use pieces of, no, you're fine. Come on over. <laughs> I'm um, learning from the best here. This is, uh, they use actual pieces of horsehair to burn into the pottery to get that effect. Two bucks. Yeah. If you're doing pottery, you might as well do it all. There you go. That's got some real turquoise on it. K Hughes. Their prices are really good. Two dollars. I mean, there you go. I'd pick that one up too. That's a sweet little trinket box made of stone. Look at that color. I wonder if the outside would polish back up. Four dollars. I think this I think this has some age on it. We'll, we'll put that in the cart too. Let's see this little teapot here. Who makes you? It's not marked, but look at the age on that. Wowza definitely has some age on it. It's got some cracking. Could be turn of the century, but it's in pretty bad shape, unfortunately. Somebody can still pick it up and decorate with it. 
little Brighton tin. Aww. And then we've got little tchotchkes. Look at all of these kitty cats. Yes, they are made with real fur. But here's the thing. I'm not supporting that market because I'm not buying them new. I am looking at them on the used market uh, industry, which actually used market purchasing keeps things from being bought on the new market. And you get to honor the little animal that uh, went into the making of these. Although I, I suspect that Rachel is going to snag these from me because they're just super adorable. It's a good looking turkey. He's a candle holder. He's not super old, but I wish there was two now. I like you, turkey. What are you guys? Cobalt blue is what you are. Two dollars each. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. There's something very nice about those. I don't think they're that old, but because there are two, it'd be four dollars for the pair. I'll pick those up. It's caught my eye. Looks like Thomas Kincaid. Oh, it is. Tom oh, there's a pair of them. Oh, well, there's a pair. Hmm. You know, I am going to be doing Christmas in July. And I do have Thomas Kincaid fans, so I'm going to put those in my cart at $2 each. Oh, well, bringing out new carts of stuff. These are really pretty. Really pretty. There's a marble. Ooh, they're heavy. Marble candle holder for four bucks. What does that say? Made in Taiwan. It is an older piece. It's in really good shape. We're going to pick that up. Well, let's peek in this new cart of goodness coming out. Ooh. Look at this brass candle holder. It's kind of nice. Oh, there's a pair of them in there. No, no, I'm not going to get those. Kitchen signs. Alright, let's see what's in this one. I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's a quilter's ruler. Command strips. We have had command strips go very, very wrong at the store, so I don't really uh, recommend them anymore. This is a tragedy. This is what happens when you put old things into the dishwasher. I bet these were like Culver or one of the other really, really good mid-century brands that's now just ruined. More goodies. Ooh, can I snag a camel? Oh, and a pickle. Gotta have the pickle. Nice. And let's see, that's really, really clear glass, not signed. Kind of got a celadon look to it, but it's newer. Nice little uh, German Bavarian bowl under here. Kind of pretty, you're kind of pretty. Just looking for something a little more exciting. Henry Ford Museum. All right, nothing too exciting. Watched him bring out this bowl, and from a distance, it looked really interesting. And up close, it looks really interesting too. It's signed. It's signed on the bottom. I don't know. Let's see. Let me figure out what that says. It's got this very brutalist kind of design with this copper. Hmm. This could be a really good piece. I'll have to peel the sticker to see what it says, but uh, I am grabbing that. These are pretty cool. I don't know much about them. Let's see. Are they Greek? Little garden statues. Oh, look, look at this one. The candle holder. Handmade in Greece. These are, these are kind of cool. I think I'm going to pick them up. Let's see what's calling me from the art wall. Kind of like these. Just clay prints. Ooh, someone kind of had that kind of theme going through that 
made the donation. That is a beautiful watercolor by Jane. Can't tell what the name is. Jack. Jack Ricard. Jack Ricard. Why does that sound familiar? I think I'm going to grab that for $10.99. And here's another one. Now, Salvation Army did uh, put their tag right, right over the signature, which, let's see who it is. It's um, William, William, I uh, hate when I can't read the names. I can't tell if that's a middle initial, Schimmel? William B. Schimmel, I think is what that says. $7.99, and it is a Western theme. I like that one too. This one is also intriguing. It is numbered three of 35. The window, Ames A. Rome or Romus. And it is also $7.99. But you know what? This one doesn't like appeal to me as much. I will leave this for somebody else. All right, let's look on this side. Since there was some good stuff on that side. This looks very familiar. Ona. Those are on paper. And I say those. I'll show you the other ones in a minute. This caught my eye, but it's more like hotel art. See, there's, there's a couple of these. Those are, those are kind of nice. All right. They're like $20 prints, so nothing super fantastic. A lot of times I will scan a furniture section like this, not necessarily looking at the furniture pieces itself, but some of the decorative pieces that they put out here with the furniture or that maybe somebody like leaves behind because we all do a little bit different research. So don't just count on somebody else's research. Know your own research. All right, I don't see anything here. All right, I still have a cart full that's coming home with me. Offered it, anybody who wanted to shop my cart, I got no takers, so all of these goodies are coming home. I'm super excited about that, actually. And the art. Well, that, I got so absorbed in shopping, I didn't get really what anybody else was finding at that store, but uh, everybody came away with some really cool stuff. And nothing got taken out of my cart that time, so you'll see all of it in the recap. Now, it's time for lunch. We are all meeting at EG's. I don't think I've ever had EG's. Let's go see what they have.
I got so absorbed in shopping, I didn't get really what anybody else was finding at that store, but uh, everybody came away with some really cool stuff and nothing got taken out of my cart that time. So you'll see all of it in the recap. Now it's time for lunch. We are all meeting at EG's. I don't think I've ever had EG's. Let's go see what they have.